Hello everybody, it's Michelle, and I hope you had a chance to check out my video yesterday about the Easter Bunny place setting. So I just had to come back on here and do a rear view of that for you guys so we could get that fluffy cottontail bunny. I think this is gonna be super cute and it's actually so much easier. So we're taking those same two large stirring spoons or mixing spoons and we're flipping them over so the inside cup of the spoon is downward. So it looks like we're seeing the back side of our bunny's ears. Let me back out again for you guys here so we can get a wider view. There we go. There is our bunny's ears. Now we don't even need the pink spoons because we're not seeing that inside of the ear. We're seeing them from the back side. We don't need any of the facial features because again, this is the back of his head this time. And then I'm going to put the bottom plate sort of up a little further so that it looks like we're seeing mostly his back end. And then I'm just simply gonna place a little pink snowball cake on the plate. And this is really fun. You can get these in so many different colors now. You can get pink, blue, purple, orange, yellow, green, just about anything you want. So you can have fun with that. You can do multiple colors and have every kid's favorite color for their bunny tail. You could use little sugar cookies that have the sprinkles on those also. And that's all you have to have. You don't have to have the facial features or the bow tie or anything. It's just simply the plates, the spoons. And if you wanted to, you probably could get by with just the regular size spoons there. But I like those dramatic large ears. So I know this is a shorter video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it because I thought that rear view was just so adorable that it would be worth making another video to get that idea out to you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below which bunny is your favorite, the front view or the rear view. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page and be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Also, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have all of those listed in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.